Hello everyone, welcome back to Placement Buddies. Let me welcome you all to another episode of Company Insights. And today we have among us a very special guest, Chiragda from ASL Steel Vedanta. Hello Chiragda, how are you? Welcome to Placement Buddies. Thank you so much, Saleh, for inviting me over on your platform. I've been going through your uh, uh, YouTube uh, lately, and I've seen the videos that you've already posted. Those are really great, uh, and uh, I think they'll be very much helpful for the juniors in front. And thank you so much for uh, having me here. Thanks a lot, Dada. Dada, our viewers, ko apne baare mein kuch batao. Uh, okay, so uh, my name is Chirag, and um, I did my B Tech in Mechanical Engineering from NIT Agartala. and uh, i got a placement in uh, vedanta limited and currently i am in their uh, esl steel uh, limited that is the the steel branch of uh, vedanta and working as a gt all right all right dada so after the selection when when did you got mail or call for the pre onboarding or onboarding process and how it was carried out okay so actually uh, the placement process the college campusing process in our college that was done around in uh, January 2020. So, if the if the situation would have been normal, then most of the time, which I have heard from my seniors, the onboarding would have been done by say August. But uh, in our case, the COVID-19 uh, happened, so the process was same, but it got shifted. So we got our actual joining date on December. And but there was no uh, provision for online joining for us at least. There were some guys from our batch who were uh, given allocation to a different branch of Pedanta. They were given online uh, reference to join. So it depends on uh, the company actually where they wanted, how they wanted to do it. In our case, the whole process was offline. We had to go there. That is on ESL. ESL is in Bokaro Steel City. Right. Uh, so we have to go there, and then the whole. onboarding process was done offline there was a month of i think uh, induction period so in that induction period uh, there was first you have to go through a document uh, verification process then uh, after that they will teach you i mean proper training happens for a month in those in those 30 days uh, they they let you know that how different your college life and your work life would be right they let you know the different functions uh, that are there and what you are supposed to do in beta because uh, the steel plant or uh, the company was running fine before we appeared right mm-hmm. so what was our role in it so if we are not there what will happen and now we are here what we can do to the company so that is what uh, they teach you uh, in these uh, 30 days plus the functions various functions uh the roles and responsibilities uh the perks what you are supposed to do what you are not supposed to do uh what are your responsibilities all these things they uh, give a brief idea a brief idea in those 30 days of course it needs much more than 30 days to get a full knowledge of uh, all the functions of the plan so but for the starting period uh, in these 30 days you will get a just a brief idea about uh, the plan and its functions Uh, so dada what was your location and what are your roles and responsibilities in vedanta basically okay mm-hmm. so our plant is electro steel steel plant it was basically uh, vedanta acquired it in 2018 i guess 2017-18 like that so it is uh, a relatively new project to vedanta earlier vedanta was not in the steel industry that much so earlier it was in copper aluminium zinc iron but in now vedanta is on an expansion move and for that they have acquired electro steel steel limited it is in bokaro city and uh, in a steel plant na there are basic if, if we divide the roles of engineers there are basically two two divisions one is the operation engineer and one is the maintenance engineer right. who are the operation engineers the guys from metallurgy chemical those are the uh, roles uh, mm. operational roles are provided to these branches because it mainly uh, deals with the composition chemical uh, structures of hot metal and steel and we the mechanical electrical instrumentation the other guys we are just there to maintain the instruments to maintain the large machines that are used in this process to handle and to carry out the whole steel making process so i was uh, 
allotted to the steel making shop uh, everyone would be aware that there are uh, large cranes which are used in the steel uh, steel plants to carry hot metal ladles we call them ladles in simple term buckets okay. so my job was to maintain these electronically overhead cranes that is eot cranes these eot cranes are used to transfer the hot metal ladder from one place to another uh, my job was uh, as a maintenance engineer to see that no accidents no uh, there was no safety lapses and all the uh, process of these uh, uh, cranes run smooth so that was it basically all right so that there are you know there are lot of things which we study in our academics but when you go into the mm-hmm. industry then uh, we find somehow it is different from the academic yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. you know study mm-hmm. so how to bridge that gap after going to vedanta or how to learn things very quickly okay so whenever i think you are going in, in the work life you are uh, given a specific job so in vedanta as i was uh, assigned to steel making shop that is we call it sms there uh, to in steel making shop uh, since i was appointed uh, to maintain the cranes so uh, a period of uh, 15 to 20 days i was given to get the full knowledge of sms plus how the maintenance system works because there are scheduling of cranes uh, in under our crane department there were some number of cranes so, suppose 30 cranes okay mm-hmm. so we have to make sure these 30 cranes are properly functional and no production losses are due to our uh, any negligence or something like that okay so but we don't know anything about cranes we, there is no chapter or no subject about cranes in uh, mechanical engineering mm-hmm. but we know the basic of how gears work how the basic uh, parts of a uh, machine works so in crane we we were taught the i mean our seniors the head uh, managers they help us to get an idea that what are the parts of a crane how are we maintaining how are we checking the gear boxes how are how are we checking the rope condition what are the sta- safety standards that we have to maintain while running a steel plant so all of these things uh, it's a gradual process you, you know uh, in the first day you they also don't expect you to know everything so usme kya hota hai na ki first day mein to humko bhi nahi pata unko bhi pata hai ki humko bhi nahi so uh, they will let you know that they will help you in every uh, aspect of your day to day job Exactly. I think in the one year or two, everyone gets uh, well settled in in the town. Exactly. So, was there any difference between the things which you have expected and the reality which you have faced after going to Vedanta? My expectations were quite was uh, quite normal because still, uh, since I was in a core company, the location is far off beat the city. Right. So it was uh, expected that, uh, and uh, other than that, in the first few years, now you have to work in shifts. Hmm. so there are three shifts in our uh, steel plant uh, so mm, because of that uh, ac- actually we are not uh, accustomed to working in uh, such uh, you know environment so uh, they help us in the mm, first few days they will help you and then uh, in a matter you will get you know fully accustomed with the process there how are they working in shifts in odd timing suppose we we have uh, three shifts there okay a b and c so 6 to 2 2 to 10 and the night shift is from 10 pm to 6 am all right uh, so in this shifts everyone has to there so the plant runs uh, 24 7 so i think uh, the expectation whenever you are going in a core company i think uh, you should not expect that you will get a boss life in the city uh, right. something like that the first few years will be like this after that when you will go uh, uh, gradually you will get promotions you will get shifted from to other branches other uh, responsibilities will come so uh, there is a saying in our first day uh, one of our seniors they he said he said to us that uh, now our job is a blue color job it will take time to get transformed into a white color job white color job means a managerial post managerial right so uh, so the initial days are just like that but if you don't go through these days you cannot control or you cannot manage 
uh, the later days when we'll be given a bigger responsibility to run the plant all right so it's all part of a process all right so uh, what according to you are the perks of joining vedanta and uh, at the same time what are the cons of joining vedanta uh perks i would say because uh, vedanta as a company is uh, a multinational company a big mining company i think india's biggest mining company is vedanta there is no uh, maybe i think biggest natural resource company of india so they have their the plants in copper they have their plants in zinc iron now steel also right they have also plants in uh, zambia in vedanta they are very uh, liberal they are very flexible and if you have an interest in some areas they will also let you have full uh, exposure to that area also because uh, there are so much internal job postings in vedanta suppose you are right now in steel uh, you have uh, worked here good for about 3 to 4 years then if you want to switch to an, any other branches of vedanta they will uh, greatly accept you and if you have that much positivity and i think uh, insights to develop they will generously help you to grow and uh, there is no limit in vedanta for growth because there are so much various uh, branches na so mm-hmm. it's a large conglomerate so i think uh, the pros are there and uh, if i say about cons nothing as such because the first few years can be it seem to be like a struggle Uh, because since it's a steel plant it's rough i will not sugar coat it it's rough uh, but uh, if you can go through it now then in the future years the further years it will be all it will all seem uh, worth it and uh, if someone has interest in this sport field then it is perfect for him to start at the bank but the provided you should have real interest exactly otherwise it will become exactly so how are the seniors or the persons handling higher position of responsibilities in vedanta are they approachable very approachable and very cordial i must say uh, because in work life na there are no teachers hmm. there are no professors all we have us our seniors. seniors so how they guide you because they have gone through what we are going through now right so uh, they can help you they can fully understand they are the only ones who can fully understand not of, not your parents not your teachers not your uh college mates but the seniors who are uh, in a particular stage of their job or work life because they have gone through the same processes na so whatever hurdles whatever we are facing right now they have gone through them and they can guide you now through that so that you can come out a better professional all right so i i think uh, the seniors in vedanta are really helpful and they help us and lot of my batchmates very nice all right So, what about the work-life balance in Vedanta? That's good. It's uh, good, but not. Uh, I I will not say that it's great. Right now, uh, six days working week. Okay. Okay. Mm, so, an eight-hour shift. So, it's manageable. It's manageable, provided you will get time for your other hobbies. If you have something you work, you would like to do after the, your work life, you can do that. So, it's normal. It's just normal. Nothing extraordinary that you work four days a week. Nothing like that. Uh, it's a normal co company where yeah, you work 6 days a week 8 hours a day so uh, any tips you want to give to our juniors you know who want to join vedanta in the near future okay so uh, what one thing i would like to say is that it's pm time and that if you truly want to join vedanta or any other uh, steel or mining companies as such you should really have uh, the passion or the love for this uh, job because in the first few years na it takes a lot of you lot of you to you know stick to it and um, and after that it is really uh, worth it you will feel uh, as a, you are contributing something because when you uh, see the steel the bars the um, you know wire rods that are coming out uh, because of your uh, because there is some little or such contribution of yours as well those products that are coming in the market right so as an engineer you will feel great and uh, i think uh, if you start your career at vedanta you are really good place right? and uh, after joining vedanta if uh, like anybody wants to get promoted to higher position of responsibilities any tips for them i think in vedanta there is one thing uh, if you join and you want to be uh, working more or getting more responsibilities you want to prove something vedanta will welcome you with both vedanta will uh, give you responsibility so that you can learn at an early stage of life so this really helps as uh, for someone who is eager to know more 
who is uh, there to learn uh, new things, to have more responsibilities, Vedanta will give, offer it to you. And so at, an, at such an early stage of a career, it really helps you because you can grow yourself. Because uh, if you do something that you do regularly uh, on a daily basis and there is nothing new in the job, then it seems like there is no growth. But if uh, someone wants to have more responsibilities, then Vedanta will give you and then you can see the growth in your professional, both professional and personal life as well. It will, uh, you know, develop your personality also. And what is the scene with relocation? It is very much feasible. I think after working for uh, in a particular plan for three to four years, uh, you can apply. Uh, you can apply uh, because there are numerous inter, uh, internal job postings as I've said right there, uh, with, between plants because uh, there are so many plants of Vedanta all over India. So if you see see that uh, there is uh, some position open in somewhere which is suitable for you and you think you can handle that, so they have their own uh, interview process there. Uh, so after uh, completing a uh, say uh, considerable amount of time in one plan or in one program, you can uh, apply there and if you get selected then you can easily shift from one plan to other. Okay, all right. Other. And other than last but not the least, any uh, you know, if any experienced employee wants to join with Anta after you know serving another company for say one to two years or three to four years, then what should be the procedure for that particular uh, employee you know to get into Vedanta? I think Vedanta keeps on posting their uh, you know openings on their websites. Mm -hmm. So I think you need anyone who is interested, I think they should be looking after their career option, their one career. Uh, uh, tab in their website so uh, accordingly they can mail there and whenever the there is this screening process the hiring process will start they will get to know about that and through that process uh, the person or the professional will get hired because we have seen people coming from uh, big companies like Tata, Jindal to our uh, Vedanta plant and uh, serving their date so it is not a problem Please this keeps on happening in the corporate structure, switching right. from one company to another. Right. So thanks again, Dada, for joining Placement Buddies, and it was my pleasure hosting you for this session. Uh, thank you so much, Bhai, for having me here. I think uh, I, have, I, I have done something to help you guys. If, yeah. if this, uh, so that is only my thing, and uh, it was a pleasure, real pleasure to be here. And you are doing a very good work. Thanks Keep a lot. doing that. Thanks I hope lot. it helps everyone. Yeah. Sure. Thank you.